I can't dial certain up like you did. I can't dial 811. It won't let me do it. That could be uh, a problem in your business. Right. Yeah. T- so, T- Timmy's in the a power line business for you guys that uh, don't know what he does. So, yeah, they dig quite a bit like us. <laughs> so I go, you know, they set me up an appointment to go to the store this morning. Well, I show up. There's nobody there. I'm like, wait a minute. What's going on here? Well, go on. I call the number on the door, and they say, well, the person that was supposed to open up today is called in sick last night, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. We'll have somebody there in 20 minutes. Well, in the meantime, the building has a front door and a back entrance. Well, me and some other people were sitting outside. Well, this guy walks through the front door and unlocks the back door and comes out, knocks, you know. Yeah. And I knew he wasn't the person that was supposed to be working. He wasn't even supposed to, you know, you could just tell by everything. And yeah. So when there's nobody there and your build, your building is unlocked with no telling how much merchandise inside, it yeah. was kind of hard to believe. Well, come on, it's man. You, you got my curiosity peaked on this, man. <laughs> you were all sitting on the edge of our seat. So come on. You know, I mean, how do you do that? I mean, how? You mean it, how do you like just, he wasn't a worker, or he was a worker? No, he was not. He was not even a worker. I mean, he he was just looking to get service too. Wow, wow. So, I mean, the building was unlocked. The no alarms, and all of their like, all of their phones and everything are just available to anybody walking in. Is what you're saying? Yeah, the phones the. You know, they have all the cases and all the, yeah. you know, do that. Go with so the all doors that. were unlocked. There was just nobody there watching. Correct. <laughs> oh, yes. my God. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh. So I was like, you know. So what did you do? Did you go up there and start get... selling cell phones or what? Well, I tried. I offered one guy the phone for, you know, <laughs> several hundred dollars, but he didn't want to take it. So, he didn't want to know, take the got... chance. <laughs> no, he just got back with it. That's got funny. left it alone. That's funny, man. I, I mean, I, I stood there and waited for another 30 minutes. Nobody still didn't show up, so I left. You know, you know I, this, is, this is crazy. This is, a, this is a really a good thing to talk about on Profit Time. I mean, how, I mean, how does that happen with a business? How did yeah, how the, the damn door get open? I mean. Yeah. I mean. You know, evidently somebody left yes. in a hurry. I mean, and the thing about it is, is, you know, it's people are hiring whoever they can hire. Yeah. It doesn't matter if they're qualified. It's just a body. You mean that's you know? not just our industry, the lawn and landscaping industry and green industry? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, you see it all over nowadays. It's, yeah. it's just putting bodies in there and, and then, believe it or not, I mean, I could probably go in and run the store because they, I mean, for what they do because they're just looking at the computer that's telling them what to do to the phone. Yeah. So I guess that's what they figure, but there's nobody responsible for nothing anymore. What do you think? You know, it's funny to mention that because Katie's up in Cleveland right now. And uh, Charles, if you're listening up that way, man, yeah, she's up your way. And uh, she went into one of the T-Mobile stores. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had to get the SIM card switched out in all of our phones because yeah. from since we were on Sprint and going to T-Mobile, well, we had to get all the SIM cards switched out. Well, she went up there, and it sounds there was somebody there, but this person just couldn't help her. You know, just couldn't get couldn't get it done. So she ended up having to leave that store, go to another store. You know, she says, "Well, you know, this is a business account. I can't help you with that," and blah blah blah, and. You know, and so she, she had to go to another store, and they did it right there for her. I mean, to your point, as as God, I'm not even going to say the industry. As a business world now, we are having to accept way too much mediocrity and help, isn't it? I mean. Yeah. I mean. It's unreal. It, it's I unreal. thought it was just when I just injured. Yeah, but, no, you know, hell, it, it's everywhere. It's across the board. Yeah, you know. I just had a guy text me earlier, you know, here just a few minutes ago, uh, where he had been notified that 
somebody that had worked for him was telling people he was going to break into his shop and, you know, steal his shit. So it's huh. it's unreal. I mean, first of all, why are you going to tell somebody you're going to do that? That goes to the mindset, yeah. right? I mean, if I'm going to come out to your place and break in and steal your equipment, why am I going to tell somebody? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. I mean, I mean, so. you know, it just, it just to your point, it, it it is what it is. I mean, that's to a certain extent, that's some of what we're dealing with right now. And it doesn't matter what industry you're in. 